Most folks who work the PI route do so because they're slobs that can't do anything else. Alcoholic ex-cops, old space jockeys, washed up prize fighters with their brains beat out. Then there's the hammers and saws who got the bums rushed due to unfortunate circumstances. That's the category yours truly fits into. It had been a long evening. I was tired and wanted to get home. My side ached from where I had been kicked. My ears rang from the gunfire. The sulfur smoke was still in my nose and all I wanted was a drink. Comet? Commander Stella. Nice job on the Presley bust. Thank you, Commander. I just wanted to remind you to fill out the proper forms to replace that android you destroyed in the raid. Why? It was his own... Hang on. Something up, officer? Probably. I'm getting what looks like a weak distress call from Andar 5. You're off duty. I'll get Hopple to check it out. Hopple's hours away. I'm closer. Be sure to get your ship back in one piece. You remember what happened the last time. That was an accident and you know it. Calm it out. I knew I didn't have much time to waste. I spun my heap around and made for the rock. I didn't mind a reasonable amount of trouble. That comes with the job. Still, didn't cherish the idea of going in there alone. What a place to pick up a distress call. And R5. Drifting rock on the border where hatchet men and rebel droids hide out. If you went down here, you'd better be on your toes, because it ain't no trip to Cleveland. The ship's homing beacon led me right to a pile of rubble someone had once called a ship. I flew over it and saw it was one of those highlight e-jobs, an old bucket that was top of the line in its day.
The heap looked abandoned. The signal device was covered with dust. If there had been any survivors, they must have been taken to the hills, or worse, put on ice by the locals. I was just about to report into HQ when what sounded like a trash compactor came up from behind me. It was what I had feared. An old droid from the Gem Colony Wars that wanted to take my head off. Lucky for me, the first one counted because my gun jammed. The Cold X-97 is about as reliable as paper shoes in bad weather. There she was, the damsel in distress. Here I am. Oh, it's so nice to rescue you. Very strong and handsome. Police. Woman. I was, um, <laughs> kind of expecting a man. Especially when I saw the uniform and all. Story of my life. Officer Common at your service. Oh. You, uh, got a first name? Officer Common. <laughs> Lieutenant. Oh, I, um, I feel faint. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you for catching me. Oh, you must have been a wonderful swimmer. <laughs> uh, all right. How did you end up here? My ship. Except an asteroid, my autopilot went haywire. Why would your autopilot be on an asteroid belt? Do you always interrogate someone you just saved? Hardly ever. I'm a Bible salesman in my spare time. Only you don't have any spare time. Make for my ship, I'll cover you. That's when I heard my heap's engines kick over. HALT! <laughs> hey, Lieutenant! No more? You looking for this? <laughs> Damn! Bye-bye! I think I'm gonna go get a beer. Watching my ship get smaller in the night, I felt like a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest. That's what I get for helping out a damsel in distress. Turned out to be a fat bald guy. Took away my pension, my shield, and tossed me right out of my keister. Now I'm ashamed to for hire. So, you need anyone, Tam? Thank you.
Thank you.